Um, this morning, um, I was asked to share a little bit uh, this morning uh, for the service, and I actually was asked to do that prior to this morning. So I was sitting there last night, and I was I was thinking of of what to say this morning. Nothing would come to my mind. And that's kind of unusual. I just kept looking, reading, just wasn't there. This morning, I woke up to a text. Brother Gerald asked me, said, if you would, we'd like for you to do the morning uh, leading this morning at church. So I text back, I said, well, I'll be there. I know more than did that. I looked on my nightstand. And me and Cindy, we love to go to fairs. And we'll go to the Madison County Fair every night that it's there. Well, we got some friends that love to go to the Elbert County Fair. And they go every night that it's there. So we went over to the Elbert County Fair a couple weeks after we spent a week at the Madison County Fair. Well, there were some Gideons over there handing out little testaments. Bright orange testaments can't miss them. Well, I, I have that testament. It's been on my nightstand ever since I came home from the fair in Elbert County. Well, when I woke up to that text message this morning, nothing still had come to my mind. So I, I just picked up that testament and I just kind of flipped through the pages two or three times, flipped through the pages. And I ran across this right here. It's from Thessalonians 2, 4. And I put this together and it come up with whose approval do we seek? Do we seek our parents' approval? Do we seek our boss's approval? Maybe it's our friend or our mate that we seek their approval. But for God, but for Paul, there was but one answer. And he wrote, We speak as those approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel. We are not trying to please people, but we're pleasing God, who tests our hearts. Now, I don't know about you, but for the last couple of weeks, for sure, for me, if your heart hasn't been tested and you haven't been trying to, to seek the approval of God. But I read a little further in something else that I found before I left the house this morning. It says, what does it mean to seek God's approval? At the very least, it involves two things, turning from the desire for the applause of others and allowing his spirit to make us more like Christ. The one who loves us and gave himself for us. As we yield to his perfect purpose in us and through us, we can anticipate a day when we will experience the smile of his approval the approval of the one who matters most. Church, I'm here to tell you this morning, this church is being smiled upon and this church is being led in the right direction. It's getting guidance and I'm going to tell you who it's getting guidance from and this is me believing 110%. It's getting guidance from God. God's not going to lead this church in the wrong direction. And God is preparing someone to lead this church. And I, I can tell you, when that right person is put in the position to lead this church, we're going leaps and bounds. This church is going to, the pews are going to be full. There's going to be more people here. I mean, 
I know we got plenty of food today, but if this church was full this morning, we may just get a spoonful of everything down there, and I'd be happy. I'd be just fine. But I was I was kind of fidgety. I come in this morning. I always like to try to shake hands with everybody. But I was sitting over in the pew while they were leading. And I kept looking at this sign right here. And I was reading it. It says, be strong. Church, we got to be strong. We got to be courageous. No matter what's put in our path, we got to conquer. Do not be afraid or discouraged. I don't know about you, but I'm only one person. But I don't back down from a challenge. And helping with everything that I've got to get this church back on the right road, I'm ready for the challenge. Amen. And you read this here, for the Lord your God will be with you. Not just here, not there, but it says at the bottom, wherever you go. So, this church is a family. And we are all family. And we all whether some of us believe it or not, we all encourage each other and we stand behind one another. And that's what I love about Mount Pleasant Community Church. I ain't gonna fall there. That's right. That was a challenge for me to get up there. <laughs> But I wasn't scared. But this week, I do challenge each one of you, starting today. Thursday's Thanksgiving. Encourage your family when you're with them. Some of you family members you may not have seen in a, in a good while. They probably had some ups and downs. You've had some ups and downs. They some rocks in the road, but let them know that those boulders that they think can't be moved with just a little faith in God, as big as a mustard seed, those boulders can be moved and things can turn around just because it's dark. They think that the sun hadn't shined on their side in a while. Trust me, the sun's on this side shining. And you may be on this side. But it's like the sun and the moon. The sun rises and it sets and the moon comes up and it goes down. Just keep that in mind this week. And I just, I just want you to be thankful for everything. But most of all, be thankful that you have the almighty God that you can call on at any time. 